Hello guys, this is Navin Dwendi. So today we'll talk about web pages. Now, web pages are a page which will be having some content which you require. So let's suppose if you want Wikipedia information, if you want to search about anything, let's suppose what is Java. So you can type on Google what is Java, you will open a page. Okay, that page will be called as web page. Now normally web pages are of two types. Okay, one is static web page, second is dynamic web page. Now if you talk about creating a web page, normally we have this, um, this markup language called as HTML. So using HTML, you create web pages, right? Now, you know, lots of people ask me all the difference between static web page, dynamic web page. The problem with uh, books is, you know, if you, if you learn those uh, server languages like PHP, if you learn about Java, uh, JSP, if you learn about ASP, all these languages are server-side programming. Now, if you talk about these languages, it works on server, but st people still don't know what is static and dynamic, you know. So, the basic concept about static and dynamics is not that difficult, you know already. The only thing is, Maybe you don't know the names, okay? So it's very simple. Think about this. Let's suppose you have this client and you have this server, okay? Again, size doesn't matter. Client is small, server is big, doesn't matter. It's a good, good machine, big server, small machine, small machine. So let's suppose this can be your mobile phone, this can be your computer, this can be your laptop, this can be your iPad. So. If we talk about clients, we have different types of clients, we have servers, we have different types of servers. But every machine, client machine requires a web client. Web server, web client and normally web client, what we use is uh, browsers. So Google Chrome is your web client, uh, Firefox is your web client, Opera is your web client. So let's suppose we have a client and we have a server. Now every server will be having a disk. Okay, all the web pages will be feed into this disk and this is called as a, a server disk or you can say a database of web pages. This is your web server. So now this is your client, this is your server, this is your disk. Client will request to a server, he will ask you for a page. Okay, a pre-defined or pre-designed or pre-developed page. Right, content is already there design is already mentioned, everything is specified, you have the file in the disk. Client will ask you for the page, server will go to disk and it will pick up the page and send you back. So you send a request, server sends a request. Oh, I'm sorry, server gives you response. So you send a request, server gives you a response. You ask for a web page, server goes to the disk, it picks up the web page and gives you back. Done, right? But the problem is, in this world, you know, we are living in this advanced world where we have all dynamic contents. Example, if we talk about Facebook. So, Facebook is a website where you have this first uh, login page. Now, for every person, login page is same. So, you can say login page is static page. Right? Because you have predefined page on this disk, you ask for the page, it gives you the page. But the problem is, if you talk about your own friend list, so on Facebook, once you log in, you will get your ho own home page, you will get your own friend list. So design is same for everyone, but data changes. right? And that's why those pages are really don't exist. We have to create those pages on user request. It means when client requests for a web page, which is dynamic web page, server already don't have that page. Server needs to create those pages. And that's why when you talk about dynamic web pages or dynamic servers, design changes. So you have a client here, you have a server here. This server is called as web server. This is your web client. Now, your data is somewhere here, a database, a, a real database. It can be your RDBMS, it can be your big data. So everything is stored here, right? So if you want to, 
if you want data from this disk which is actual database your web server works with HTML the problem is HTML cannot interact with database right because HTML is not a programming language it's a markup language so markup language cannot deal with database and that's why you require some advanced application server here it means your web client will ask the data from web server it will check is a client is asking for a static web page or dynamic web page if it is static web page it has its own disk so it will go to disk and it will give you response but if that page is dynamic it means it is not already present you have to create at that time your web server will interact with application server right and that's why this is your application server and application server will interact with database it gets back the data and it will give back to web server and web server will give back to client so static page client request to the server server gives you the response dynamic page client requests the server server don't have the page it will interact with application server will ask you for the data application server will go to database process the data and gives it back so finally what you are getting is web page client don't even know that he is asking for a static page or a dynamic page it all matters is a page what client is getting a page so if it is a static page give it given by server which dynamic page you have to use application server and now if we talk about web servers we have different different web servers but if you talk about application servers again we have different types example you can use uh, you can use jboss as an application server you can use uh, this web logic you, you can use web logic you can use web sphere you have many application servers right but if you talk about uh, this all deals with normally java okay so if we talk about application server you can have different different language to work with application server normally here then we require some languages to inter to create application servers right and you all learn those languages like to create a web page you require html but to create application server which will process from database you require languages right and those languages one of the language is php now php is open source so if you want to go for open source technology amazing then second is asp now it is also called as classic asp so if you want to work with dotnet so we have to go for asp dotnet so asp without dotnet is called as classic asp so you can use php or asp or you can use jsp asp stands for active server pages by microsoft JSP Java server pages now from Oracle you can also use JSF you can use Sturts you have multiple application server languages so if you want to create a dynamic website with dynamic web pages you require one of these languages okay so if you talk about Facebook PHP if you talk about online secure sites JSP and if you talk about normal websites all you know majorly if you talk about websites they are developed in ASP.NET so open source portable php windows oriented microsoft oriented language asp and if you want to go for secure if you want to go for portability go for jsp again choice is yours it's all depend upon requirements now there are some programmers it's depend upon requirements so let's suppose i have a programmer if i want to create a web page or a website so it depend upon client's requirements i will change my technology so client is want a uh, a good looking or a flexible website php a client is looking uh, you know looking for a secured jsp so we have different requirements we have different technologies and this is what when you say static web page and dynamic web page static means page is already present dynamic page not available you have to make it available with the help of application server so Thanks for watching. I hope it helped and please subscribe for further videos. Thank you so much.